Sravidya Iyer was just 34 years old when two years ago she was diagnosed with advanced ovarian cancer. It was very hard because um, I have no risk factors. It came as a very, very big blow. She's a rare survivor, having endured six rounds of chemotherapy and radical surgery to remove a tumour that measured 13 centimetres long. After the surgery, I was pronounced um, cancer-free. Sravidya is what's known as a super responder. Scientists want to know why she's survived when many others haven't. Last year, more than 1,700 women were diagnosed with ovarian cancer. 1,042 died. If we could understand what allows some women to do better, we might be able to make a vaccine or make other treatments. Researchers from RMIT and the Walter and Eliza Hall Institute have developed a trial that aims to identify the biological characteristics that distinguish super responders so that we can really understand what the drivers are of the cancer and perhaps how the cancer is talking to the immune system. That's the way we hope to identify how some women have done better and others unfortunately not so well. They hope the trial will pave the way for more effective treatment for others and the development of a vaccine. We should be throwing everything we can at this and making sure that we change the outcomes which are not good. Again, we need more research, more funding and more uh, trials like these to be able to pave that, you know, cure. The state government provided half a million dollars in funding for the trial that's set to run for several years. Georgia Lenton-Williams, ABC News, Melbourne.